Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from MyTestedASP.net. It's time to continue my current video series which is building applications with ASP.NET Core 5 and Angular 9. I am working on the server, Ines is working on the client, so let's create some endpoints in ASP.NET. Back in Visual Studio Preview. Now let's create, let's start creating the full root, create, read, update and delete of the cats controller because currently the user needs to be able to see all the cats in his profile page and uh, the user needs to uh, edit or delete the posts. So let's add an authorize with HTTP yet public async task from I action result mine mine will return all the cats which are created from my profile so slash cats get pro get request on slash cats should return my own uh, created cats. First I'll need to go to the iCat service and I'll need to add public task with some sort of a result and the result should be unnumerable but from what? I would need to have add new class cat response model Get details response model maybe that should be or cat listing because we are listing cats here cat listing response model because the details may need to have some sort of comments likes and so on but the listing is only the initial information when we list multiple cats so here I will need, let's get everything I need from the ID, uh, from the cat model itself. So let's go here, I will need the ID, I am not going to return the description and for now I'm not sure whether I need the user ID. Let's just return the ID so that the user can click on the image and the image URL. But if the user ID is required for the client, I'm going to add it. But I don't think it will be needed. On the cat details response model, it may be needed. Okay, so I have cat listing response model, so let's use it here. And let's name the method mine. Go to the actual implementation of the cat service and let's return. But mine actually is stupid name because we don't know the user ID. We need the user ID, so let's rename it to by user and let's add user ID. Yep, so what I need to do here is I need to await this data dot cats. Then I need to call where I need all cats which user ID equals the user ID provided on the service. And I need to select new cat listing response model for now i'm still not using auto mapper but i'm going to add it in the future one of the future videos but for now let's use it uh, like this id then what i need i need image url and let's to list async that cool 
So the cat's controller needs to return. First, it needs to get the user ID, which is essentially by the get ID method here. And then it should var cats equals await this cat service dot by user user id return i said that i'm going to use action result so let's say that i'm returning a numerable of cat listing response model like this return cats we may simplify this method because i can say return cats like this and i can pass the user id like this but let's keep it as readable as possible which means that two lines of code is good enough good okay that should do the trick we need to validate whether it's working correctly. So let's run the server. But before we continue, I would like to show you where you can find this source code here. And I would like to introduce you my, my mentorship program. If you go to my GitHub profile, which is Ivaiwo Kenov, you may follow me if you like. You may hit repositories and in the repositories write down TV. Here are every uh, code. Here is every code I'm using in my lesson. All my YouTube videos are linked here and I'm using uh, this folder to upload every bit of code I write during my videos. So you may download this, you may copy it, you may clone it, you may do whatever you like. I will appreciate if you give the project a star and also you may watch it because usually I first upload the code and a link to the video here and then I upload and make the video public. So essentially you will receive the video lesson first. I'm going to talk about my mentorship program which is on Patreon slash Kenov. You may find a link uh, in on GitHub in one of my projects. These tools I create in my free time. The Patreon is here. Also, you, you can find the Patreon on, in the description of this video. Essentially, what I do is I create additional content for everybody to, who wants to learn C Sharp. I have different kinds of levels. So for as little as $5, you will receive one hour of exclusive advanced C Sharp video lessons, which are not publicly available. They are only for my Patreon feed. So if you join the, the, this tier, you will receive every month additional lesson. For example, the lessons I'm preparing for April, which will be available in one or two days is about data structure efficiency and how to use it, how to use the default .NET uh, core data structures uh, as intended. Additionally, you may receive a private community, live event recordings. You may vote for uh, my future videos. You may tell me what kind of video I will I what kind of video to create and so on so make sure you check that out hope you guys find something for you that is pretty much uh, helpful for your current development situation I'm going to thank my sponsors which are Endeavor, Softuni, Smart IT, Noble Hire and OneBit Software these sponsors are responsible for my YouTube channel. They 
provide me support and they allow me to continue doing what I love and share free lessons. The first one is Endeavor, which are always in search for passionate developers, so make sure you check them out. Softuni, Smart IT, Noble Hire, and One Bit Software. Thank you guys, you truly rock. And now let's return to the code. I will need to validate whether this logic here works correctly. So I need to create two users. I need to add cats by one of the users and then I need to add more cats by the other user. So let's validate that. Here in Postman first I will need to create Identity register. I will need to say some user email test at test.com like this, and let's send that. Bad request username my test test is already taken. Let's use something else. I'm going to use test which returns OK and I'm going to use test12 or this test2 actually for the second user. Great. OK, so let's log in with the first user. This is the token I need and I'm going to create a cat. Let's add a header authorization bearer the token authorization like this and the body should be the body should be uh, I will need to have an image URL so an URL I need to have description which is some cat and I believe that's it. Let's run it and see. 201 created. I'm going to add another cat. Great. Then I will need to log in with the second user and use this token to create some cat three having the next token this again returns created so let's try to get the cats with the test two user it returns only the third cat, so it should be working correctly. But let's validate just to be sure that everything is working correctly. Yep, everything is fine. It returns only my current cats. Great, very nice. So essentially we created the get request. Thank you guys. Thank you for being with me. Last but not least, if you are using ksp.net core and want to use uh, and you want to write unit tests, make sure you check my tools which I create in my free time. They are called my test at ASP.net core.mvc. They are essentially allowing you to create very fast and fluent uh, unit and integration tests for your application's components. Thank you guys and see you in the next video. Make sure if you like this one, hit the thumbs up button. Bye.